What's up, y'all? Nemo here from HBC Game Day on another segment of Pocket Rocket Analysis. This week, we're looking at the Clark Atlanta offense. First clip, Albany State comes out, one high safety going cover one with a low hole player. The low hole player is going to be this right side linebacker you're looking at the screen. Low hole player means that he's going to roam the field and rob anything underneath. He's, he's free. He's able to move. Everybody else is picking up a man, going with him, taking him. Mano, mano, let the best man win. So as this timing pattern, you want to hit this in the first window dig, especially when you're going against man with a low hole player because that low hole player could be cheating towards that side. Take a three-step hitch, hitch, boom. He throws it one to two yards inside the hash to give his receiver time enough to protect himself and get down. Nice completion. First down, Clark. Clip two here, what Albany State does, they come out, they say, we're going to stay one high, but now we're going to go cover three. Each third of the field will be defended by uh, the two corners on the outside and the safety in the middle. Corner left has his deep third. Cor- safety has middle deep third. Corner right has his deep third. What Clark does, they figure Albany State's DBs wouldn't be disciplined enough to just go to their deep third if they seen their outside guy do a crossing pattern. And that's what they did right here. Outside guy, the receiver on the right, does a shallow. He does a drag route. When he does that drag route, the corner on that side, instead of going to his deep third, his eyes immediately go to his receiver. When his eyes go there, number two is pushing vertical, replacing where the cornerback should be on his deep third. By the time this cornerback realized he's messed up, it was a coverage bust, delivers the ball, everybody's excited. Touchdown, Clark. The last play we're gonna look at, this was perfect because they went empty here and they've been burning up Albany State for big plays the, the whole day. So what Albany State decided to do is they wanna go cover, they wanna go quarters coverage. This is a three by two set, empty. Three receivers to the right, two to the left. This play design starts with what's going on to the left for Clark. They know that they're in quarters coverage. The rule in quarters is if this cornerback, if his number one guy pushes 10 yards vertical, he's going to pick him up. If not, if he pushes anything underneath, he's going to look and see what number two does. But this linebacker most likely will buzz on number one. The only reason he will buzz on number one, though, is if his guy, which is number two, the number two guy, which he does, he pushes vertical past 10 yards, he's going to let him go and let that cornerback deal with him as he buzzes under number one who's doing like a seven-yard route. So they're working together. So basically now they're just picking up a man. It's like a matchup zone. This safety, since it's three by two on the left-hand side, is looking up number three. Pay attention to that as this play develops. As he's looking up number three, because that's his man, the safety on the side of the three receiver sides is looking up number two. He's trying to see if number two is going to push vertical. If number two pushes vertical, he's going to pick him up, which he does. As number two is pushing vertical, the safety picks him up. And then the guy on the outside, number one, he pushes about eight, nine yards to make the cornerback on, this, on, on him pick him up. So now it's like it's man on man. But now let's go back to number three. Number three pushes vertical, but his man that's supposed to be responsible for him is the safety on the other side because it's quarters coverage. Safety on the other side has to look up number three because he, somebody has to address that receiver since they're in quarters coverage, and that's his man. Coach Moncrief knows that and makes number three push up the seam, pushes vertical. He knows it will be difficult for that safety to get all the way across the hash. By the time he realizes it, it's too late. Curry throws a good ball, frozen ropes. It doesn't float. It's too much air to, to give the safety time to come over there. And it's a touchdown for Clark. And everybody's partying the homecoming. And game's over.